I think the being part is, is around character. It's who you are, right? It's how you, how you deal with uncertainty. Um, are, are you calm? Do you get angry? It's your st what's your purpose? What, why are you doing what you're doing? The people, this is the authenticity point that uh, you've mentioned before too, which I think is quite important. What is it you're actually trying to achieve in the organization? And if people don't know that, or you don't have a clear view of that, it, it's hard to lead. You, you can't lead others until you lead yourself. I think it's a Manfred Kid to Freeze uh, phrase, and I believe it. But so this purpose, uh, your resilience, your ability to absorb shocks, disappointments. You know, there's a you you can how to manage your energy. I, I now believe in you got to manage your energy, not your time. Forget it. Time. It's hard to manage your time. It, it, I think you, it'd be good if you could, and I wish I could do it better. I think actually what's more important is how you manage your energy. What, what, what's a source of energy for you? What sucks energy away from you? And making sure you've got that right balance in a day to be able to deal with it. Your physical fitness. I mean, you, you, you know, this is a, a, Carlos Ghosn has talked about this. You know, he's a guy who's been a CEO for 12 years. He's sort of, in my view, straddled both eras, the old era and the new era. And he talks very eloquently about you know, the, you know, the disciplines he has to have. It used to be the case, you know, you'd do an overseas trip, and he's a guy living in sort of four cities around the world. You get a day to recover. You know, now there's no way. All leaders today, you, you land, you operate. You know, you're scrambling. You're trying to pick stuff up. How do you keep your, your energy there so you don't make any rash, crazy decisions? 